open up seventh grade unit seven, lesson 15, we learn how to distinguish volume and surface area. So your goal is to decide whether you need to find the surface area or volume when solving a problem about a real world situation. So when is it necessary to consider surface area in solving a problem? You always want to look at surface area when you're covering an object, when you want to know how much is exposed to the environment, etc. when you're looking at the outside of a 3D figure. When is it necessary to consider volume in solving a problem? Well, you want to look at the volume when you're filling up an object, when you need to know how much is already inside, etc. So you're looking at filling up your 3D object. So to see if you understand this, I'd like you to engage yourself in a sort on surface area or volume. I'm going to present to you five situations and I want you to determine which category they would each fall in. So first, how much wrapping paper would it take to wrap a present? How long would it take to fill a fish tank? How much wood is in a solid rectangular block? How long would it take to paint the outside of a jewelry box? And how much wood would it take to build a storage box for the playground equipment? All right, pause the video here and sort each of these into surface area or volume would be needed to solve the problem. Then come back and check if you're right. Okay, so their first situation was surface area, the wrapping paper. Filling your fish tank is the inside, so it's volume. The wood in a solid rectangular block, since it's solid and you're filling the whole thing, that's also volume. Outside of a jewelry box, you're just looking at the surface, so that's surface area. And then this one's a little bit tricky because the wood does have thickness, but you're just um, doing the outside because you're filling the inside with playground equipment. So the outside is the wood, that's going to be surface area. All right, as you're labeling these, I just want you to remember every time you use surface area, please use square units, like inches squared, meters squared. When you're doing volume, please refer to it with your cubic units, and you should be set.